Welcome back, disc golf fans, to the Disc Golf Pro Tour Tour Championships in Jacksonville, Florida. We're here in the back nine of the women's final. We have Kat in the lead. Myself, Sarah Holcomb, is in the second. Jessica Weiss is at even. And Paige Bjerkus is in fourth. Here we are on hole 10. 665, throwing over a creek for the first shot. There's a ripping headwind. And I threw it out there to the middle. Cat is also trying to put up a good shot with that X3. She gets a little bit of wind underneath it. Pulls it left, but she's safe. There's a really strong headwind right now on the tee pad. So you really don't want to get it nose up. You just want to punch it as straight as you can. Get it over that creek. Perfectly executed. Is that that destroyer again? Yep. That was my main dog this weekend. Got to give a shout out. <laughs> And here goes Paige, she's punching it, but turns it, and it does not finish right. She's been struggling a little bit these last few holes, but she has kept an incredible attitude. And um, another just slight miss that leaves her another OB stroke. So right back here, we can't really feel any wind, um, but once you get out into the open, up this slight knoll, there's a lot of wind. So we're kind of getting tricked here. And up on this fairway, there is a golf green and a hazard or a bunker, but it does not play as a hazard as we normally play it. They're both actually not OB. So if you land on the green, you play it from the blue drop zone. And if you land in the bunker, you play it from in the sand trap, no penalty. I kind of like that unique way of playing it. They want to keep us off the green, but it's kind of an unfair place to put an OB. So that headwind turned yours over a little bit. None of us felt the headwind until we stepped up into this area. This one's also playing really tough today. It's at the edge of most of our distance range. So even getting close for the three in, on, in no wind is tough. And then when you've got this ripping headwind, it's just taking all the, the distance out of our shots. Yeah, the second shot on this hole is pretty tough, and it's pretty much out of our range, so Beautiful almost up shot. not worth going for. And here's Sarah with her jokery. Whew. I'm stoked on that. It's a little null, you can't quite see. Like I usually have a marking on the ground that I'm using to give myself that like hyzer point. And it's really weird when there's that early null and you can't see the green at all. Yeah, it is kind of a tough green to see because there's a little hill right before the basket. Mug's trying to recover from a couple of bees. Mm. She was running it, but she actually put herself close this time. Jess with her anhyzer putt, beautiful. I was so happy to make that. Saved four. And yeah, Muggs kind of has to push everything here. I mean, she's, I don't know, it's pretty tough. It's, I mean, we're only, there are eight ho more holes, but. There's only four of us, and at this point, she's got nothing to lose. So you might as well go for everything. True, true. Put on a show. That's what I was thinking. I was telling her to throw stuff in. Yeah. Gotta put an ace out there or something. So Give not a lot a of movement here. Still a battle though. I mean, we're all three of us are still in it. Cat's leading by one over Sarah. And here we go into basically the only wooded hole on the course, it seems like. This one and like one other. And it is 286 feet straight forward, but there's a lot of rough on either side. And the wind is really weird through this this gap. It feels like it feels like a, a headwind off the tee, but then there's a tailwind once you get to the green. So it's just really hard to judge the the way the disc is going to fly. And both Cat and I leave ourselves in the woods. And the basket is actually raised on this hole. They have a little sand dune with the basket in the middle of it. What's that disc you're throwing there? This is one of my favorite fairways. It's a Leopard 3. Nice. Get yourself all the way. You get a putt. You get a look at this. I got to look at this for sure. 
And Paige clips a tree and it ricochets hard right. And it just keeps flying through. I don't know how it got through all of those trees, but she found the line and that's gonna make a tough recovery. Cat lining up a putter for a hyzer approach. Yeah, she's just pitching out, trying to get as close as she can. Really beautiful. That was a great Cutter shot. Cutter flipped up really nicely around the corner. I'm kind of pinched over here. All I have is a turnover with a sidearm. And executed nicely. Mostly. A little bit long. A little long. I'm not stoked on that putt, but at least it's open. Well, Paige here tromping through the woods, trying to find a, a line out of the jail that she kicked over into. Mm. She gets out to the edge, but still has a long putt. Runs it but not quite in. Now Jess, with, is this an Anheuser approach or are you having to putt This Heiser? is a high, it's like an Anheuser, but it has to finish Heiser. That was such a good look. I was putting like through a Y in the tree, so it was pretty technical. And Sarah for the three. Oh, just a bit short. Yeah, I just didn't quite get a good push on that. It's a raised basket, so remember, we don't get to practice on these a lot of the time. Yeah, it's always a different challenge. I guess I could start putting my putting my basket up on a picnic table or something to kind of prep for this stuff. There was a great putt by Paige. Nice cleanup. And Kat to save her par after a early kick and a beautiful upshot. This is a tester distance, especially with a raised basket. So she executes it nicely. And I'm tapping in for my three. Tap in town, tap in town. Do you find that the Anheuser gives you a little bit of lift on that on those up those uphill putts? I do. I like the Anheuser putt, but I've been working on it for a while. So I drop back a stroke. Looks like Kat's pulling away a little bit and Jessica Weiss just decided to uh, come into the show and continue to play solid. Trying to put something together out there. Last tournament of the year, folks. Gotta give it everything. This was a 400 foot par three with an OB um, path on the left. It's a tough line for the backhand, right? You gotta throw something super low, hard, overstable. Yeah, I'd say that it's not very favorable for the backhand, so I throw a sidearm. I'm trying to put it out over that sidewalk on the left and then get it to finish right. Beautiful flip up. What, oh, what disc nice is that? Roll. That's not a destroyer, is it? That is a Vulcan. Ah, yes. Which is my favorite disc for the sidearm. I'm throwing the sidearm too, surprise. Um, another outlaw. And I take the flat line rather than the flip up. And don't get as far as you, naturally. <laughs> I was going for the flat line on this one just because of how windy it was. I yeah. didn't really want it to flip up. We had a bit of a tailwind, actually, on this hole, which is a little odd. We've been having throwing into headwinds most of the day. Paige a little low. Both Paige and Cat a little old cut rolls. We're all going to have approaches, relatively long approaches, although you'll have a putt, I guess. Yeah, on this hole, it's pretty much just get your three and get out of here. Muggsy put it a little bit long. She'll have a tough putt in the wind. This tailwind is kind of ripping right here. I think right now it's a headwind. Ah, did it switch on it's, us? Oh, it's back and forth. This is not a particularly comfortable shot for me, but uh, throwing the jokery because I know which is always going to go left. There you go. That's a great upshot. And Jess with her beautiful Anheuser putt for birdie. Oh, mm. that looked good. Not quite enough. And Muggs with a tough comebacker. Tough comebacker. Run, jump, putt. She's giving it all she's got. And she's smiling while she does it. I don't know how she smiles that much out there. I can't seem to bring myself to do it, even though I'm having fun. <laughs> nice putt by Kat. That was a good putt. Cleaning up the three. She's like, I ain't giving you guys any strokes. Oh, 
And if you're gonna win, you you kind of want it that way. I think that I'd rather beat somebody if they're playing good than have them giving me strokes. 382 hole 13 par three. Cat on the uh, leading us off with maybe the best shot I've seen anybody throw in this hole. Maybe including the men. Throws a roller down. It's kind of a tough backhand, right? That was a really good roller. I'm not sure what she was rolling there, but she has been working on her roller game the last few years, and it's come along nicely. Vulcan flip up Ooh. into the headwind, turns over. Yeah, I threw it a little wide and turned over, so. I'm trying to go a power shot underneath this uh, low branch, and it mostly works. Yeah, that's probably a better play. Otherwise, you have to throw like a hyzer outside of it and not even get close. Or you have to throw a big, if you don't throw the roller backhand, you have to throw a big Anheuser or this low power shot risking that left side OB. Yeah, Paige is skipping towards the OB, but finishes nicely. Inside right the inside. circle. That's wonderful. 360 shot, and low shot. And I don't know what I was thinking here, but I'm throwing a putter into a headwind. What would you wish you had done there? I kind of wish that I would have thrown a sidearm. Ah, uh, yes. Around the trees on the left side. Mm. This one's, uh, I'm trying to line up a spin putt here. It's pretty much outside my range, but I'm trying to get it there. Eh, eh layup. <laughs> That's a good three. I mean, Kat, she's got to look at a beautiful two. Right, she's trying to take a stroke here. Yeah, she is. And Jess recovering. Ugh. Good luck. Good run. That was a bad hole. Moving Paige on with the birdie the... look. Let's see if she'll get this one. Just the inside wind, the circle. The wind died. It looks nice. Let's get it. Mm. Right again. Dang. So, Cat with a beautiful drive. Oh, Doesn't no. quite... Get it there. She's not happy about that. She's replaying it. It is really frustrating to throw such an amazing drive and put yourself in position on a hole that pretty much nobody else could get to and then to not make the putt. It almost puts more pressure on the putt. I'd you, say. You know, when you're in that position. I'm just trying to get off, get off of this hole. This is a bad one for me. That but wind is still ripping on a tailwind. Tried to kick my putt out. Yeah. We got a pretty decent gallery actually following us. Yeah, we had a lot of people. It was really cool. So Kat's still in a pretty a pretty good lead. I'm still there, and then that tough hole with you um, puts you a couple off, but there's still five really tough score-separating holes. And here's Kat leading us off on the 885-foot wow. hole. OB to the right, trying to just stay in bounds but not push too far left on the approach. I was really surprised when I saw you lining up a sidearm on this hole, honestly because it just plays towards the OB the whole time. Yeah, I threw the backhand in practice a couple times, but it just didn't, I didn't, wasn't feeling it. I was pushing too far left every time, and I was like, I don't want to be in the rough over there. Mm, Pagey, she pushes it a little far right and never finishes back in bounds, but she'll be taking it pretty far up there. And that's your Ooh. destroyer, is that a Yeah, Vulcan? that's the destroyer. The destroyer. Yeah. I'm just trying to put a move on it and let it come back to the left. Perfectly executed. And here goes Paige from Out of Bounds. Puts a nice move on this one. She gets pretty far down there on her second shot. A little bit in the rough, but that is, she'll have no problem from that position. And Sarah pushing it. But she managed to stay safe. Yeah, that was that tailwind was just trying to push me out. I actually changed my dislection there because of it, and whew, it was, I maybe needed to dish down even more. Cat with a nice hyzer, keeping that right side out of play, still lining up for that, uh, lining up, to still get that birdie. This is a nice par five for us. 
that I think pretty much anybody can get that birdie. I think a lot of people can. The only goal is, is just don't throw it out of bounds. Then you should have a look. Yeah, chop hyzers up the, up the right side. And yeah, another beautiful shot. Yeah, I did not want to push the OB on the right. So I think Kat and I are both hanging out over there. We're about 220 feet to the pin here. And Sarah's going firebird. Yeah, it's just a, such a predictable shot. Nice. And that sand made sure it didn't skip out of bounds. I was thankful yeah. for that. <laughs> that was a great shot, but it could have picked up and skipped out of bounds. Is that your easily. Firebird or your Thunderbird? That was my Firebird. I thought since you threw yours, I'd be able to get it there, but... Mine's pretty beat in. Mine's pretty stable, so... I'm going to have to take it to a few trees for next year. Mugs throwing that mid. That was on a dial. She just... Lined it up and lasered it. Cat looks like she's throwing a putter. Heiser. Oh. And it, it doesn't flips, finish left. Flips up and does not come back in bounds. That hurts. Maybe. That's maybe one of the first mistakes she's really made, except for a couple missed putts. She's been solid um, off the tee and on approaches. She just makes sure to get it up under the basket on that one. Edge of the circle putt for birdie. A little bit of a tailwind. Mm, dropped it, yeah. And for birdie. Wonderful. That's a great looking four. That was a bit of a momentum swing right there with Cat. Wow. Throwing out of bounds. That was the game changer. And now she'll be tapping in for her six. And I managed to get the birdie there. So it is all tied up. And Jess gets the par. And she's still there. Yeah, that was the game changer. Sarah just tied it up. But you're only four back. And we have four holes to play. That on all four of those holes, you can get two stroke swings. This is, this is a tight one. This is the island hole. 222 feet, man, double mando through the middle. I'm throwing a jokery. And there is a fence before the basket. So if you hit that little bitty fence and you do not cross, you will be going to the drop zone. Is that a putter there, ABR? I threw a putter. I threw it a little long though. It's safe though. That was safe. Oof. You kind of gave it the basket. Inside the circle. Paige with a judge, I'm assuming. Yeah, she's running it. She, she wanted to ace. She's going there. And oh, caught the back fence. Nice. Right off the backboard, right outside circle one. She's got a look. Cat also throwing a putter. The hyzer line. Straight hyzer. And we all make it in. That's some good tee shots there. This hole can this wreak is a havoc. Good hole. It's a tough hole, especially in the wind. Even if you're right outside the circle, it makes it tougher. That that elevated basket certainly gets in gets in, gets in my head here and there. I'd say that it definitely adds five feet to your putt. Sure, yeah. I Three can to see five that. feet. Mm -hmm. So even though it says that I'm inside the circle, I feel like I'm right outside. Do you usually jump from right outside? Um, I normally don't. Good height, though. I gave it a run, but unfortunately, my Anheuser just carried. That wind is probably messing with it. Paige running it. She wasn't mm. feeling that one. She was actually pinned up on the fence. Back Did she there. take her meter? She took her meter, but I think that she kicked the fence behind her. Ah, uh, that'll do it. It'll ruin your follow through, that's for Just sure. Just for par? I had a straight tailwind, so yeah. I made sure to aim high, but it didn't drop. When I was looking at this putt, I was, even though I'm really close, I was thinking, man, this is an important putt. <laughs> and yeah. then once I got up there, I was like, oh, it's not that far. <laughs> Good thing I have long arms. Yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty close. Okay. You're like, okay, I got this. I got this. 
And I think mentally that's probably better thinking that it's a harder putt walking up to it. Yeah, maybe. I guess everybody's brain works a little different. But I can see. I know that there's certain players that will step back away from, further away from the putt and kind of line it up. So then once they step to their putt, it looks easier. Hmm. That's that's a well. That's a that's a David Felbergism actually. Thanks, Dave, for all your help <laughs> over the years. Whew, so the island hole. We had a little bit of change here. I now have taken the lead. Cat with the par. Three holes to go. And this is the other wooded hole. I was going to say, there is one other wooded hole on this course. Which is usually my forte, but it sure wasn't right there. I struggled with this hole uh, most of you the, just, the weekend. You just gathered the lead. It's got to be a little pressure. <laughs> yeah. I definitely didn't want to hit these early trees. Right. Well... There's Mission accomplished. <laughs> Cat throwing a mid, it looks like, maybe an M2. Basically, all you want to do is hit it straight and let it finish straight. Oh, she clipped the last tree. But she's got to look for two, for sure. She does. Paige, looks like she's throwing some kind of a putter. Paige is throwing a judge, I believe, and it kicks almost in the basket. Oh, man, those ricocheted aces are pretty, wow. pretty awesome to watch. She'll have a nice look for birdie. And Jess. Throwing a rock. Which, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh. Lacing the line. I don't even know how you do that. I'm here to kind of recover. I've got a little tiny gap that Paige Pierce comes and tells me, you need to throw that shot. And I wasn't going to argue with her, even though I was feeling very unconfident about it. I was Good not going to argue with four-time world champion. So I did it, but it was made the gap. That's all. That's all that matters. So Cat for her birdie. And actually, Paige Pierce came out, took pictures, and followed us the whole round. That's some support from somebody who didn't make it into the finals. She's a great sportswoman. Here lining up just inside the circle with a little tree on the right, kind of blocking my shot a little bit, mm. and the air ball. I wasn't very happy about that one. I would have let you borrow my Anheuser putt. Right? Can we do that sometimes? Woo! Paige. Nice putt, Paige. Birdie. Showing us her world champ skills. Yep, she's coming back. A few holes left, but she's still got some people to show. And Jess, with the beautiful tee shot, lining up for her birdie. This is like right, this is pretty easy putt for you. As long as there's no wind, count it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm tapping out a bogey. Tap out time. Wah, 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 <laughs> wah. So, cat tapping out her par. I had just taken one on the island hole, and now she just tied it back up by getting the par. So, man, what a battle. And hole 17, now this is... This is, this is of, a tricky this hole. This is a kind of a crazy hole. Yeah. Um... And I found out, actually, they moved the tee back for the men. So they made it very tough for the guys. As if it's not tough enough already. All right. Par three, 455 foot with a, kind of a green or a, a, a fairway that's structured in two separate positions. You've got this kind of right side layup zone, and then you've got this really, really like wide and long fairway that is really hard to get to. Yeah, the shot, you really just want to punch straight out there and then hyzer at the end. And unfortunately, I hyzered it before and landed OB. So we saw Paige kind of push the edge of the far OB and caught the, the fence to stay in. I think that's what kind of scared me. <laughs> yeah, right? Jess cut it off a little bit early and ended in the OB. Cat parks her perfectly in the middle but still 100 feet out. And well, I'm gonna throw a sidearm off to the left and let it come back in. This is an enemy. This um, is not a sidearm hole. And no. if you're gonna throw backhand, you literally have to have 400 on dial. Which my 320 backhand isn't gonna quite cut, cut it. 
Yeah. I don't know. I'm actually a little surprised that a lot of the women go for this go for this shot. I feel like, you know, nobody's really getting a good putt at it. I don't know if they're getting putts at practice and that's why they're going for it, but I feel like it's almost a tough up shot as well, even if you lay up. Well, yeah, sure, hear me. And I'm busting out a back I mean if I'm throwing a backhand and I can get it close to the pin, it can't be that hard of an up shot. Right? I guess you're right. <laughs> I don't know. I guess this is this is theory by Sarah, but I wonder, because you're not, I mean, you're getting an easier upshot, but you're taking so much risk off the tee. I don't know. I'm kind of confused by why, why, all the, why all the women who can throw this far actually even try to. I feel like every single time I try and lay up, I go OB anyways. Okay, well, that's, that's fair. I can, I can appreciate that. That happens to me, too. Cat for her birdie. This Perfectly is a long up. birdie look, so nobody's really thinking that they're going to get a two on this hole. You're really just trying to get a three and get out. Jess and with I, a beautiful putt. I just got that Anheuser dialed. I practice Heiser putts, and I always go back to the Anheuser. That was after a recovery and a, tr a tough tree hit on your approach shot. Yeah, OB off the drive. Paved with a three. She's always smiling. I'm tapping in a three as well. Very happy. I got the four on the, uh, the previous round. So, because I really, to me, it plays like a par four. I'm not really sure why it's par three. But Paige Pierce did get the two on this last year with a 70 footer. That's a really so good So maybe two. that's what they're saying. So it is all knotted up going into the final hole. And you know what? I think the final hole plays to the sidearm. Um, I, I definitely think so. Although I throw backhand sometimes off the tee. I can't really decide what the tee shot calls for. Sure, I can see the tee shot's pretty neutral. Paige catches some high foliage. But the upshot is definitely a sidearm. And here's Kat going roller, one of her specialties. We she saw a, a couple of beautiful ones earlier in the round, and this is going so far. She catches some bushes on the left, but she's way up the fairway. That must have been, what, 420, 440? I'd say it was about 400, yeah. Throw an outlaw, safe shot out to the right. And that's a good look, right before the green. And you're going backhand. I am going backhand. I was uh, actually trying to push over the green. Ah, uh, yes. Gonna go more right. Just got a little high. I knew if I hit the green with a stable disc that it would skip over the green and off to the left. And you still threw that about like 380. Yeah, it's pretty far. Not quite as far as that roller cat threw. Paige pushes a little far right and hits the mando tree on the good side, kicking her perfectly into the fairway. She's gonna have a good finish. I feel it. Now what is this? Is this your Vulcan? This is my really flippy Vulcan. Wow. You threw that so far. I can always count on that thing to flip. I could throw it on a spike hyzer and it'll do some magical things. Throwing a rival, trying to get around this corner and skip into the fairway and not be pinched like I was in the previous round. And I got a good, that little, was awesome. good little skip and roll there. Cat. Cat. She's thrown a sidearm out of the woods, which means that she didn't have much because she doesn't throw sidearm very often. And left herself another sidearm. Looks like she's throwing D1 here. Turns it over nicely and gets out to the fairway for her third shot. So she will have a long putt for Walt. A throw in. A 200, maybe 150 foot approach for her. I'd for say her birdie. it would be a really good throw in to finish. Paige throwing a beautiful turnover. Mm. A little short, but she'll have a putt. Right outside circle two. And here I am lining up my Firebird from about 240. And this shot means everything and right I now. I don't even know it, honestly. I'm just trying to throw the shot. Thankfully, I don't keep, keep track of the scoreboard. Yeah! And it comes out how I want. And at this point, actually, my caddy ma makes a huge yell, Robin. And I was like, oh, I must. this must be an important shot I just threw. <laughs> that 
That's crazy. You had no idea. I feel like when you're that close, you have to know. I threw this one way long, <laughs> and it actually got stuck in somebody's windshield of their car. <laughs> so unfortunately, I'm OB. That was a great. Rec I mean, that was a crazy recovery, though. Yeah, you were really pinched over there. Cat's got to throw this one in for the tie. Play cat. Uh, she leaves it close, but a little long. Still a little tester. Page from 65. Oh, she thought she had it. Look at that little she run. She was trying to run it in. Always trying to put on a show. I'm trying to run it in, too. I just threw a beat. 55 feet. Anheuser. Oh, wow, mm. you hit so many chains there. Yeah, the wind was kind of pushing right to left, so it just kind of spit me out, unfortunately. So, Cat for her par. Trying to put the pressure on me to make this birdie putt. Solid putt. That was awesome. Putting the pressure on. So, but I gotta make this putt. You got that. It's, uh, it's kind of a short putt, but you know, it never it's feels like it. It's ripping wind right now. If you look at this flag, it would couple be a tester people. for anybody. Whew. That was a great finish. When I heard all the claps, I figured that that's, that was a one, so I was excited. <laughs> that's crazy. She had no idea. Uh, well, there was no decisions to make. I was going to go for the birdie no matter what. And there it is, folks. We have our champion, Sarah Holcomb. Wow. I was, um, I'm still a little bit in shock. But it was, uh, it was, Do you feel like you're dreaming? I, it was a dream. Dream come true. <laughs> So thanks for everybody for tuning in, and um, thank you to all the sponsors uh, for this coverage, and we look forward to a more coverage of the ladies in the future. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned, Disc Golf Pro Tour for next year. And I'll shout out to Legacy for all the support this year. And Innova Discs for supporting me all year for the last six years. What's your disc they can go by? Um, they can go by the Shrike right now online, Jessica We Shrike. Go get some. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah.